Students at UW Green Bay are helping in a worldwide effort to develop new life saving antibiotics. As Chris Schuler reports, the Tiny Earth Project is out to help solve a growing crisis. For the past 14 weeks, students at UWGB, like Carolyn Latour, have been looking through soil samples, searching for bacteria, which hopefully one day leads to new antibiotics. Discovering new, different antibiotics will definitely help the medical field a lot. Latour and her classmates are participating in the Tiny Earth Program, an international effort involving 10,000 students from 300 colleges, all aimed at discovering new antibiotics by searching the ground under our feet. There are infections caused by bacteria for which nothing on the shelf works anymore. The students collected those soil samples from a variety of spots, a compost pile from their family's home, and in Latour's case... Right off the shore of Lake Michigan in a forest, a very dense forest. They're on a fishing expedition. The more we look, the more of us that do that, the greater chance we're going to strike gold. Professor Merkel says the work his students are doing is vital because according to the CDC, each year at least 2.8 million people get an antibiotic resistant infection and more than 35,000 people die. They're playing a vital role in helping us identify antibiotics that the world desperately needs right now. Their findings are being included in a database at UW-Madison and will be discussed in a virtual symposium next week instead of inside the Lambeau Field atrium as it has in the past. It's so cool that we as students can contribute to the antibiotic research. There's a lot of excitement and we're really excited to see where this goes. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. And Merkel says the program also puts his students on the path to pursue STEM careers.